All right, so Google just announced at the Google Anywhere School that there are gonna be several new updates to Google Meet here in 2020. So I've created this quick slide deck to show you a few of those along with those time frames. So let's take a look. So better moderator controls are there now. So this is a good thing. We'll dive into a few of those and what those mean. Um, but in September, you're gonna get a larger grid view up to 49, so a seven by seven, my math still checks there. Um, and whiteboard integration with Google Jamboard, it'll be built right into Google Meet. So that's an exciting new, new feature that a lot of math teachers especially really want. Um, in October, we're gonna to start to see backgrounds, including bur blurred backgrounds, so you won't see uh, my family running around behind me, um, checking on attendance and breakout rooms, the one feature from Zoom that everybody wants in Google Meets. So that'll be in October. And then later on in the year, um, hand raising, questions and answers, and polling will be features rolled out. And I do encourage you to submit feedback within the app if there's something else that you want, because that is where these new product updates come from. So let's take a look. Currently, you have a tile view of 16. Um, you can do the present tab now, which is what I'm doing for this slide deck for better uh, video and audio. They have released low light mode so that if uh, the lights in here were a little bit darker, um, automatically it would adjust uh, to help out so that you'd see my camera and my slides better. Uh, noise cancellation, so if there's something going on in the background, my dog was just barking, uh, hopefully that would be cut out if it was over and over and over again. Closed captioning, which is great for ADA compliance. And in enterprise, you have the ability to record the full meet, which I'm doing now. Um, if you're not going with G Suite Enterprise, you're just sticking with the free Google EDU domain, you will be able to do partial recordings. And that is so that people can um, pause if they're watching a meet and go backwards, almost sort of like uh, streaming TV right now. So some of the moderating features that we're going to see that's rolling out right now um, is being able to print prohibit participants from joining. Um, so if you eject a kid from class or uh, a staff member, God forbid, because they're annoying or doing something that is um, far too distracting, they will not be allowed back in. Also, if somebody tries to what they call knock uh, twice and you've denied them both times, they won't be able to get in again. And so it won't keep bothering you over and over again. Um, the facilitator will be able to end the meeting for everyone as soon as the class is finished. You'll be able to manage the join requests and accept them in bulk. So you could take your whole class and say, I'm accepting that whole group or that whole group of parents uh, rather than one at a time, like we're seeing in the old days of Google Meet. Um, you will also be able to disable the Meet and, and the chat, I mean, uh, that's in there and set restrictions on who can present. So you may only have one group presenting a group project. You could say, those are the people who are gonna present so you're not constantly getting uh, somebody else asking to present their screen. Um, and then of course the teacher does have to join first so you don't have kids jumping into a meet uh, without an adult. Coming in September, you're gonna to start to see the larger tile view as we just mentioned, going from 16 all the way up to 49. So you can truly get the Brady Bunch and their extended family on your screen all at once. Um, and then the, the part I'm really excited about, the collaborative whiteboard with Google Jamboard. Uh, so that'll be just bar a part of Meet. You'll be able to click that and be able to whiteboard over the top, sort of like I'm doing with slides, but uh, with a pen tool on a touchscreen Chromebook, even better. In October, like I said, you're going to be able to blur those backgrounds so that um, you can work from home and not worry about what is in the background. Uh, attendance tracking will be available for those with enterprise only. Don't worry, I have a solution later on uh, for those of you not going enterprise. And breakout rooms, again, also only for enterprise. So you can run simultaneous small group discussions, break them out, facilitate that. Um, but if you don't have the enterprise or you're not going there, I have a workaround for you as well. Coming later in the year, you're going to see some hand raising, more hand raising options. So you can identify who um, has a question without constantly unmuting, muting microphones. And then questions and answers and polling will come to enterprise. And again, I have a workaround for those not moving to enterprise. So let's take a look. Um, some of those workarounds. So if you wanted better facilitator controls like the muting and unmuting of all and creating uh, waiting rooms, there's a great Google Chrome extension called Google Meet Enhancement Suite. Um, there's a pay basic version, which is free. And then of course a pro uh, version, which is paid. I will have this slide deck uh, in the notes of this um, video if you wanna take a look. Um, and then you can link to all of these things as well. Uh, currently we have 16 available, but if you need to have that uh, number cranked up before that September rollout, because maybe you're in school in the South already, there is a Google Chrome extension called Google Meet Grid View Fix um, that's linked right there. 
Jamboard, like I said, is coming right away in September, which is great. But again, if you just cannot wait for that, I've used the Chrome extension Dual Less, which splits your tabs. So that way you can have Jamboard on one side, Google Meet on the other, it splits. So you're seeing two screens at once. You can still whiteboard on it. Or if you have two different computers, um, you could also sketch over on one and join the Meet twice, if that makes sense. Um, blurred backgrounds, there is a visual effects for Google Meet and Chrome extension, attendance tracking, breakout rooms, and Q&A and polling are all part of enterprise. So there are Chrome extensions you can use if you're not going to the enterprise or if you can't wait for those. And those are right there with Google Meet attendance, Google Meet breakout rooms, which does take a little bit um, of getting used to and setting up, but once you're there, you're good. And nod reactions for Google Meet uh, for the hand raising and some emojis. Um, and then my workaround for Q&A and polling right now is to create a slide deck presentation, which is shared with your students or whoever your audience is, and you can do Q&A right in slides. So that might be the best bet now while we're waiting for those things to roll out to Google Meet. Um, so those are my extensions and workarounds um, for now, and I will link those. So take a look at those and hope you have a great year with Google Meet.